Howard Phillips Lovecraft. And today's question comes from Mr. Reed, who has an intriguing proposition. While he enjoys the various cinematic adaptations of my stories, what he longs for is a televised serial program that tracks the misadventures of my characters and creations through a, a sustained, continuous narrative. Now, television is a remarkable new medium, which wasn't around when I was alive, and yet seems to have captured the spirit of the old radio serial dramas, as, as well as pulp magazines, for which I once wrote. And of course, my stories have appeared from time to time on the boob tube, uh, most notably in Night Gallery, but they've popped up all over the place. And it helps that age is no deterrent to television. Indeed, I cannot avoid the scuttlebutt surrounding the uh, potential resurrections of various programs thought dead and buried, uh, most notably the X-Files, which seems to be about a stern, crimson-haired nanny and her emotionally maladjusted man-child whom she takes for strolls and drives at the British Columbian wilderness. And then, of course, there's Twin Peaks, which seems to be an attempt to perfectly recreate the effects of a fever dream. But here I must disagree with Mr. Reed. I don't think my stories lend themselves to one long, sustained arc. I think you'd find that a bit of a stretch, like watching the, the same group of people stranded on an island for years at a time, long after you stop caring about the polar bears. No. I think if the Arkham Cycle or Yogg's Lothothery were to come to television, the best place would be some sort of anthology series where you could tell one story at a time. Uh, of course, such a program would need a, a charming host, uh, much like a Twilight Zone or Tales from the Crypt or the animated ALF series. And finding someone who had the the charisma and the, the gravitas to narrate these tales and put them in context, set the tone. I feel it might be an impossible task. Uh, Mr. Lovecraft, would you like to be the host of this show? My, what a wholly embarrassing and yet completely reasonable suggestion. As always, I'm Howard Phillips Lovecraft. Thank you.